why living close to a fast food restaurant might be bad for your child's health and another way to ease your stress during the holiday season. Also, we got an update from the American Academy of Pediatrics on autism. Sophia Ojeda with Health Headlines. Good morning. Good morning. Lots to get to. Yeah. Yeah. It. All right. The Academy has updated its guidelines on the diagnosis and treatment of autism for the first time in 12 years. The changes are based on the latest research, which stresses the importance of early identification. Doctors recommend specific testing for autism at 18 and 24 months, in addition to other developmental screenings. They also say there's no reason to wait for a diagnosis before beginning speech or behavior therapies. All right, thinking happy thoughts could actually help ease your anxiety. It's actually true, think happy thoughts. That's according to researchers at Yale University and Well Cornell Medicine. They found using a safety signal could help ease stress levels. Researchers tested the use of a symbol in or sound in humans and mice. Both had anxiety reduction. Experts say a safety signal could be a musical piece, a person, or even an item like a stuffed animal <laughs> that does not represent a threat. Okay, parents, listen up. A new study now says that living near a fast food restaurant might be impacting your child's health. Researchers found children who are at least a half a city block away from the nearest fast food restaurant were between 2.5 and 2.4% less likely to be obese than kids who lived closer to that fast food restaurant. But if fast food is your only option, you can always make those healthier choices. Life, like making sure kids are eating kid-sized meals, not getting, you know, those extra large large meals for kids, opt for grilled items instead of fried foods, and cut out those sodas and just stick with water. Water, water, water. Mm -hmm. All right, still ahead at 6.30, do jade rollers really work? They're all the craze now, right? They They're are. supposed to reduce inflammation, smooth fine lines and wrinkles, but just how effective are they? And how do you use one exactly? So if you're thinking about getting someone this gift for Christmas, we've got all the answers for you coming up at 6.30. He's looking up what the I hear about things that are all the rage <laughs> from this segment, and it's like, oh, I need one. Wait, I need one. I gotta wait to find out if I need one. <laughs> exactly. I'll let you know. All right. Thanks a lot.